It's a Scandinavian inspired Christmas wreath. Keep watching. Dollar Tree has these hula skirts and these wreaths. So they're very affordable. We're gonna cut these hula skirts into strips. They're just on a cord on the top and we're gonna take sections of about eight maybe 10, just whatever, it doesn't really matter. Gonna tie them around the frame and then just make a random pattern around the frame. You're not going to see much of this in the end. This is mainly to have something to connect the greenery to and the pine cones to. It'll give it a little bulk. So I'm just gonna wrap it around on both sides. Again, there's no reasoning to the pattern. I'm just wrapping it around where I feel like it'll stay. I'm gonna use some floral wire to attach it to the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. When that side is finished, I'm just gonna connect them on the bottom with that wire. And you can trim off anything that's left. Okay, then I'm going to take this green burlap ribbon. It doesn't have any wire in it. And I found I can't use it for much of anything else. I'm just not very happy with this ribbon as far as making bows. I'm gonna put some hot glue on there and then all the little bald spots that do not have the straw look or the hula around it, I'm just going to wrap it around there. We're gonna be, again, tucking that greenery around inside of there. It's gonna help cover up the frame as well. If you want to wrap the entire thing with a hula skirt, you can. I'm trying to go easy on it because I need to use it for other projects. So that's why I have two different types of materials here. You'll still be able to see some of that hula skirt through um, once everything is applied. But you'll see, just stay tuned and you'll see. It gives it a little bit of a rustic look um, when you see it peeking through the greenery and that's kind of the look I was going for. So if you look up Scandinavian Christmas on Pinterest, you'll see a bunch of rather neutral and rustic looking simple pieces. And this is what I wanted to try to achieve with this wreath. So I thrifted these pieces of pine they must have come out of another arrangement or maybe they, they must have come off of another arrangement because they were in picks of three and then I pulled the picks apart. So they weren't great for this project. And you can always trim them down if your pieces are longer. Also, if you don't have any of these pieces, you can buy this at Dollar Tree. They're packs and they are just like the little stems individual stems and you can use those. You can fold them in half or you can use them long, but since my wreath is rather, you know, on the small side, I want to be sure that the greenery doesn't overwhelm it. So I'm just going to be tucking it inside of the frame here. A little bit of glue to hold it together. This is not one of those pieces that you can just stick in there and not secure it down. You really have to have some glue to hold these pieces in place because there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on in here. You're going to keep going around and the best way to do this to make it look like a cohesive look is to go all in one direction. So start in one direction, follow that same shape all the way around your wreath. So my inspiration picture had a bunch of different types of greenery. So I have chose to put a bunch of different kinds in mine. This particular piece that I'm putting in also came from Dollar Tree. It's a little snowy willow branches, I think. And then these can be cut down into um, smaller pieces so you can stretch them out. Remembering that this is a heart shape frame, I'm going to try to keep 
my branches in the shape of a heart so you can still tell but it is a heart shaped wreath they're kind of flared out right now but i will fix that once i get all the rest of the pieces in and you'll see that in the end these picks came from dirt cheap and i believe that they originally came from target they're frosted and they're really pretty they give it a little bit of a different color so it's some variety but still green so still neutral You can trim down the wires if you need to to make them fit a little bit better and be sure that you go back and put a little dot of glue in there so nothing falls out you won't see all of that um, in order to keep this video on the shorter side I can't show you every bit of it but I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you an idea so the mistletoe branch that you just saw me pull apart and then place in there also came from Dollar Tree. The pine cones were thrifted and some that I got out of my yard, but you can get those also in bags at Dollar Tree. So we've progressed a little bit. I've gone a little bit further down, got my cones in there. They're all hot glued down. I glued those down onto the covered frame so that they're secure and they don't fall off. You don't want any bald spots on there so just be sure that you go back and fill in your little empty spots and this is a little terrarium with two little frosted pine trees inside and my original inspiration was a house but I didn't have a house that would fit so I'm just going to use this one a little hot glue and I'm pressing that down to the frame and hold that for just a minute to let that glue set up When you're doing a floral arrangement or any craft really look at your project stop a few times look at it from all angles and see if there's any place that needs a little something extra and then fill in those spots once I get it all filled in I'm going to take the branches that are kind of splayed out to the side and I'm going to curve them in the direction to make it look more like the heart uh, the inspiration piece which is the heart frame right now you can't really tell so what do you think I love it I think it turned out really pretty it is definitely going to be in a place on display in my house for this winter and Christmas actually I believe it could go all the way through till to spring starts thanks for watching I hope you subscribe and until we meet again Bye.